Today we celebrate something that is so much more than a toy. It's an artistic tool that helps fuel imagination and creativity. It's not just for kids on this day or any day really. It's March 31st and today is National Crayon Day. Welcome to Taco Cast Podcast. Every day is a holiday. No, really, it is. Did you know that literally every day is a holiday? I don't know about you, but I love having a reason to celebrate every day. Whether it's your favorite foods day or something else totally random, happy holiday to you. The true history of crayons dates as far back as the 17th century. Back then, crayons were not wax-based, were not very long-lasting, durable, or even had a variety of colors. It was in the 1900s that the modern crayon was developed. The Crayola Company was actually founded in 1885 and formerly known as a Binney and Smith Company after its founders, Edwin Binney and Harold Smith. The company was formed as an art supply company and wanted to offer a safer and cheaper alternative to art utensils. And so in 1903, they debuted the famous pack of eight crayons with black, brown, blue, green, red, orange, yellow, and violet. Since then, colors have been added and new types of colors like neons, metallics, and glitters were created. Since its inception, over 230 billion crayons have been sold and they produce 3 billion crayons per year. Inducted into the National Toy Hall of Fame in 1999, the crayon is an icon, a staple in children's lives. The average American uses 730 crayons by the time they hit their 10th birthday. In a smell test, crayons were discovered to be the 18th most recognizable scent out of 80 tested items. It's a core part of Americana, and it was affordable, which helped it become a commonplace item for all. The first box of eight crayons sold for five cents, and today you can still find a box for as little as a dollar. So on this day, get in touch with your inner child. Get a coloring book. They do make ones for adults and get lost in it. Studies show that coloring books help boost mood and calmness. It's something everyone can enjoy. And as Robert Fulgham, the American author, once said, we could learn a lot from crayons. Some are sharp, some are pretty, some are dull, while others bright. Some have weird names, but they all have learned to live together in the same box. Happy holiday, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.